In this video, we're talking everything spiny tail iguana. So the spiny tail iguanas are actually some of my newer favorite lizards. I know I say that all the time, but it is because of, first of all, their colors. There's so many different types. These in particular are a mix of Florida orange and bananas. So I'm gonna show you what they look like. They're actually pretty docile for the most part. These lizards, you know, they are, oh man, look at this guy here. This is a male, and you can tell the males are a little bit bigger than the females. They have a little bit higher spikes right here. They obviously have a hemipenal bulge right here. Now, these guys as babies, all spiny tail iguanas as babies, will hatch out green. And as they start to age, you'll start to lose that green. This, they'll start to gain some of this black and yellow, if it is a banana or, or whatever other color they are. And eventually, they turn into this uh, big monster here. Now, this guy is pretty big for what he is. Banana pectinatas, the, the yellow face, aren't this big typically. This guy is a mix of a Florida orange, like I said, with a banana, and that's why he's so huge. But the bananas will get maybe like three quarters of this size. Now, here are some females as well. Now, let me see if I could just grab this girl right here. She's not. Sometimes they're not the, the friendliest, but I'll try to grab her. Here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I got you, I got you, I got you. Now, look at this color on this girl. Look at all this pattern and color. And the reason they're called spiny tail iguanas is obviously because of these spikes they have in their tails. These spikes are so when they jam themselves in between crevices, they are not gonna be able to be pulled out by their tail. The cool thing about these guys is that they're arboreal. I love my arboreal lizards. They tend to be very friendly. We don't typically handle these guys so much, but you could see they're just, they're not, they're not bothered by us too much. They're not super skittish. An arboreal lizard's always gonna require a vertical setup rather than a horizontal setup. And the reason is because they wanna climb, they wanna get closer to the sun to get those UV rays and that heat. So this is a San Esteban spiny tail iguana, also known as the Senesora conspicuosa. These are some of my newer favorite animals. This is the only one of this kind that I have. He's a male. You can see the very prominent hemipenal bulge right there. And the cool thing about these guys is that they're some of the more friendly ones. Like, they're never really bitey. They're a good size where this is an adult animal. You're not gonna need a super huge enclosure like you would for a green iguana. And I mean, look at the colors on this guy. He has these crazy whites, these black bands here, the black arms, the black speckling on the back and a white and black tail. I love these guys. These are my favorite ones I've had so far. It's between these and the bananas. I kind of go back and forth, but um, I really, really like them a lot. He's so cool. Okay, so this is a good example of like how they start off. All right, so this is what they look like when they hatch out. Now, this is a big juvenile. He's not, he's not tame, so I gotta kind of, I gotta catch him. But this is what they look like. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, where are you? Where are you? Now, you almost got me. Okay, I got him. Okay, so this is actually a banana pectinata. Um, a banana face spiny tail iguana, and they call them bananas obviously because they're black and yellow. Now, these guys, look how green this is. I mean, you could only imagine if this was on the floor right here, it'd be kind of hard to see them. And that's why they hatch out this color. When they're first born, they're maybe about the size of, of his tail, even less than that. This is a pretty big juvenile. He's, he's gonna start changing color anytime now. I mean, it's so crazy to see the difference, the ontogenic um, color change that they go through from the time that they're babies to the time that they're adults. Check those little teeth out. Like I said, most iguana species are gonna eat only like vegetables. These guys will eat a lot of insects. So we'll feed these guys insects twice a week, three times a week, and veggies, we'll pretty much have veggies in there all day. Some fruits as well, aren't they awesome? These over here, these are bigger, they're older females, but you could see they're still not fully turned yet. Some of them have you see at this size, they start to be a little bit more confident in themselves and they don't like really run away as much. But you can even see some of the greens on her legs that like she's still getting over and she's starting to go black and yellow. You see a lot of yellow in her face, a lot of yellow on her sides. And once they're fully grown, I mean, it'll be like a black and yellow animal. It's completely different than what it looks now. You would not recognize these guys, they're so cool. The cool thing about me living in Florida is that I could keep a lot of these animals outside here 
But if you live in a place that you can't keep them inside, they don't need a lot of space, you know. I have two juvenile females in here and they do awesome. You could even say an adult you could keep in here as long as, you know, some, some vary, some are bigger than others. If you're keeping them inside, you just wanna make sure they have like a 90, 95 degree hot spot. They have enough foliage and branches to climb around in. And you wanna make sure they have a good UVB source. A 5% to 7% UVB source is what we recommend. And we always like to give them shade just in case they do wanna escape the UVB and the heat. These guys eat a variety of different fruits and veggies. In the description below, I'll put a website that will give you a list of, of veggies and fruits that are safe for these iguanas and some other animals. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. As you can see, there is so much variation when the color, oh, it bit me. <laughs> there's so many, he probably thought that was food or he smelled something on me. But there's so much coloration between these guys. Um, this one is pretty, it's actually the biggest and it still has a lot of green, but eventually he will turn. And these guys are about, these are all about a year and a half to, oh, close to two years old. So they grow pretty slow compared to some other animals. By the time they're full grown, they're not that big. If you guys like spiny tail iguanas, let me know in the comments below. We should have some for sale actually pretty soon. We have some of our females lay eggs. And so that's something to look forward to. These are a new species for us and we hope you like them.